Okay, we are ready. We're on the purge of the Artemis line to progress toward the galactic center. Before we get to the center, it will send us to the Atlas. We'll select, make a selection, and then it will tell us, um, we'll get to choose which galaxy we want to go to. Each galaxy is composed of these star systems with planets. There are something like 255 available ones and 256, I think, total. All right, it says the Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Um, so we're gonna seek the final interface. That says you're gonna continue um, with that line. So let's just begin. I'm just gonna give you highlights. See the galactic core. That shiny light there is the galactic core. I could really use an economy scanner. Uh, a dissonant system. I'm tempted to start that. Gentle Choshi Aggie is the name of the system. Notice it says data injection. Sequence received, it'll start giving you all the glyphs. Oh, that planet has ancient bones. Okay, we got a message. Distorted voice, they left us. Duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back, please. We input the coordinates. My starship processes the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission is decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Dreams of the Deep. Okay, so we begin the dreams of the deep. Let's see what kind of planet that's on. With aggressive sentinels. I don't know. Let's go to the space station and pick up an item slot.
we can get a few items. We have cover in case the sentinels are bad here. See, the sentinels are frenzied, so why would we want to do the Dreams of the Deep ones? I wish they'd... Uh, I wish they would do better with their time. At least we're close to where we need to be. I mean, usually on a planet with a name like Sent with Sentinels Frenzy means they're going to attack you on sight. That's what that tells me. Okay, breach event. If you're listening, you've likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me. Though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends, I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. Collect upgrade module. I take the upgrade module, its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. Okay, now I have two S-Class underwater modules. It said C, perform a scan. Okay, so supposedly we found a starship. So I'm not stopping to do much stuff. Oh, very good, off planet. That's good, because I wanted to leave this planet. underwater base. This will be an underwater quest, so maybe we'll select this for underwater. We'll see. Okay, so the approximate location is in the water. So let's land over on the land here. Intermittent for the Sentinels, so this is reasonable. Now this is deep water relatively. Make sure our oxygen is up. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Recharge. The Dreams of the Deep is interesting. I'm going to probably put this clip on my YouTube and say to you, stay tuned and keep watching for the adventures here. Let's go in here and 
get a breed either. These underwater things, you can actually make them. Let's make sure our air is at a match here. All right, let's go. Breach event. Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve the blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have the plans for the Nautilon. Download Nautilon plans. Oh cool, I got the marine shelter plans. And the Nautilon plans. Now before I touch that ship, you can't summon your ship underwater, is that it? All right. I'd like to be able to pick that up. Let's see, C to edit parts. All right, let's see if we can get this ship. I do believe this is repairable. So let's claim the ship. It means we won't have access to our other ship to summon it. Our hermetic seal and I believe a metal plate will do this. Break down this shield and take the parts. All right, and let's recover this. Five million units worth of stuff for this. I need two free inventory slots. So, let's sell the Corvax casing and the salvage. Well, we could sell the rusted metal. We get plenty of that. We could put the rusted metal up here. That 
will open once. I offer the Corvax casing. And that's one standing increase. Add another slot. Actually, I didn't need to do that because I could have added a slot down here. Um, I'll take it down here, obviously. I need All right, let's salvage the ship. Scrap the ship. Five million is its value. A starship storage augmentation. I've been looking for that. Let's add that storage augmentation. Um, let's put it up here. So now we can add the shield back in. So let's move this over. So spool of nano cables, a hundred thousand. That's from scrapping the ship. Compressed indium for about three million from scrapping the ship. And subatomic regulators for about two million scrapping the ship. Do we want any of these A-class upgrades? Pulse engine, hyperdrive, shield. What do we have for the hyperdrive? All right, let's actually store the shield again. Move this. and install the hyperdrive upgrade, E. So our range is 867. Oh. Let's see, 183, 201. So let's scrap the 183 and keep the 201 since it's a little further. And reinstall the shield. Okay, in the next episode, in the log, our objectives are a uh, Nautilon chamber to launch the submarine. Pin the blueprints from the build menu with L. It suggests that ap establishing an underwater base may aid construction. So in the next episode, we will construct an underwater base.